Oh, man, did you ever have just a crappy Monday? <laughs> It's actually my granddaughter's rake, and then a little dustpan. Look at all that. Got a little really tight. When I mean, you walk on it, it feels like a sponge. Bill's over there. He's gonna cut the test patch. Uh, Doc's freaking out, man. Yes, Doc's freaking out. Uh, first of all, we got construction going on next door, so you're gonna hear a bunch of noise and talking. Apologize for that, but. They need stuff done too. So why am I freaking out? Because <laughs> I got a cold front coming in. And I'm pulling up my phone every couple hours looking at it going 32 degrees or 33 degrees. 32 because I got the vegetable garden. I got plants out here and I'm worried about it. Plus it's Monday and I had a whole list of stuff to do. My son was going to come over and help me. And guess what? He has allergies and asthma and he's getting his first round of vaccine today. So he couldn't take his medicine. So now I'm stuck doing all this. I'm just going to take you around and show you what I'm doing. I had to cut the green because we did an overseed on that. I didn't use it. You're going to ask me why I didn't use the grass catcher on the green because there's still possibly some seed that hasn't germinated. That's why I didn't use it. I'm going to go out. I'm going to do the first cut on the lawn. Um, questionable whether it needs it, but I got to keep that lawn short. I'm going to keep it short this year. We're going to keep it at half to three quarters of an inch. So I'll take it out there. Broke out the edger use the edger that the first edging of the year is always a mess it creates a whole bunch of dirt and mud and then <laughs> everyone's been <laughs> saying doc you need to take care of that poana over here okay let me explain i did a video about a second wave of poana and how it can come out well this area over here we didn't do the heavy pre and pre the second pre-emergent and so the poana's had a second sprouting over here, so I have to spray that today to appease you guys. <laughs> so let me show you. So what you can see over here, so what you can see is the first round of poana that's all dead over here. And here's the second round, see it? I started pulling some of it up. But you can get a second round of poana, and that's why we like to do one pre-emergent coat, and then after we do our scalp, we come back with that second pre-emergent coat, the liquid. So just in case you're wondering, that's why I've got all this over here because I did not treat this area, but it comes right up. Look at that. Isn't that great? <laughs> so this annual rye keeps growing really fast. So I did put a little bit of spray on that. Um, I hit it when I hit the poana to see if I push that back, but I just got a whole bunch of stuff going on today. So here we go. Everyone keeps everyone keeps laughing at my Dunlap. That thing's like 30 years old or something. On my shag balls. So that's where I am. So let me explain why I'm cutting my front, even though it may not need it. There were some areas that are just long. So you can see here, this definitely needs to be cut. But I have these areas that are starting to get up like this. So I've got areas that are like almost inch and a half and we're trying to train it to be short this year 
and even though it's kind of spotty because of my crappy yard and soil, I'm gonna cut it anyways. Okay, so you can see the difference here. Let me step back. Cut, uncut. But I'm just trying to train this lawn this year. We're gonna keep it about this height all year, which is about maybe half to three quarter. And uh, gotta start training it now. Don't wanna get it out of control. When you walk on it, it feels like a sponge. And Bill's over there, he's gonna cut the test patch. Man, it's bright out here. So edging, the first edging of the year is a pain in the butt. You end up stirring up all this dirt. And so what I have to do is I have to go by here with a little, I use my little, it's actually my granddaughter's rake. And then a little dust paint, look at all that. Good Lord, anyone need any plugging? Bill's over here cutting the test patch. It looks so much better. <laughs> So we got a lot of weeds we got to treat, but there's the test patch back to semi normal now. But there's a lot of weeds in here. So I told him I'd come over and spray it. After the cold front comes through, that's probably when I'll come over here and spray this. So don't forget guys, um, when you start to get that scraggly kind of look and your grass starts to get a little bit long, even though it's not filled in, start cutting it short because you want to train that. You don't want to come out here and be cutting three inch tall Bermuda. Once you start to get out of that transition zone, you're going to want to start to cut, cut, cut. Just keep cutting it, cutting it, cutting it. Even though it's not all fully woken up, um, you, want to, you want to start training it to be low. So again, I'm only about 50% 50, 50 green, but we're low. That's where I want to be. Don't let your lawn get out of control. I'm talking about your total lawn. Now I'm gonna have patches and I'm gonna have areas that are long, like on my back. On my backyard, I'm not cutting it low yet. I'm gonna give it a few more days because it's still pretty weak all over. I do have a couple areas that are a little, but I'm talking about the majority of the lawn. When the majority of the lawn starts to stick up, that's when you want to start training it, start cutting it. <laughs> I pulled up my phone again. I'm exhausted. I started my day at 5.03 a.m. this morning and it's now four o'clock and I've been going nonstop. So I'm back here looking and I've got some old canvas tarps and uh, I may have to tarp this. If we get down to 32 degrees on Thursday, I think it is, that's freezing. It's not just cold, that's freezing. And that could kill a lot of our work. So I'm not looking forward to that. Dude, I'm ready for a nap. <laughs> I'm tired. Oh man, the green's looking good, but I'm just exhausted. Like I said, I had the whole day planned out and then my son texted me and said, hey, I forgot, I'm getting my vaccine. I can't take my medicine. I said, just forget about it, I'll do it. So he'll be over tomorrow. We got a lot of work still to do. We gotta do all the flower beds. I'm gonna show you guys a product um, in a couple of days that will keep your Bermuda out of your flower beds. So click that subscribe button wherever that is. But uh, for now, I think I'm just gonna relax. <coughs> oh dude, I could seriously just take a nap here right now.